Hey y'all, I'm gonna do something fun. I have, I had an idea. Now I'm thinking about fly tying. Well, this is kind of crazy. And you see my ingredients right here. Well, my equipment and ingredients. I just have a rag and some little bit of vinegar. This is some of the yellow dye that I had used before and it's pretty much what it's called exhausted. In other words, most of the yellow dye has been absorbed by the things that I put in it to dye. So I'm going to add a little more dye to that, make it yellow. And I'm going to dye, this is a wet bunch of cat fur. I know, cat hair. I cleaned my window seat where the cat sleeps and got this much hair off of it. Isn't it amazing? I don't know if it's one cat or two cats because I have one that's black that has gray under fur and another one that's gray. So it could be, it could be a combination of the two. My purpose for this, in fly tying there is a product that is sold or a product that is used, not necessarily sold because I'm getting ready to make my own, called dubbing. And that is just short little bits of fiber. It can be hair, it can be feathers, it can be just about anything. And you pinch it around the thread as you're wrapping the thread around around the hook. And it makes it look natural, it just makes it look fuzzy. So these little pieces of the cat hair that I think will work for dubbing. And if not, then I will cut them down a little bit. I'll use my scissors and make them a little bit shorter. But what I'm going to do right now I'm going to dye them. This is gray. Well, it's, it's wet, so it's, it's, it really is gray, but right now it looks, it looks almost black. And the yellow dye, if you mix gray and yellow together, at least, at least that's, what the, that, that's what Google said anyway, if you mix gray and yellow together, you'll get olive. So what I want is an olive color. Now, well, let's see if we can get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. So this right here is my stock solution. It's a 1% stock solution. Don't know how much I'm gonna put in here, I'm just gonna put drops. It's important to know the concentration so if you're trying to mix another color. So if I had 1% yellow and 1% blue and I put one drop of each, I would get a, a green. That would be true green. But I'm just trying to get a yellow dye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Shake it up some because it has settled a little bit. Oops. There's the cap. There's the cap. Put it down. I'm just going to squirt, squirt a little bit of the yellow dye in there. Swirl it around. See how yellow it becomes. Mm, not quite as. It's pretty yellow. Let's get a little bit more yellow. A little bit more in there. Looks, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for a minute. A minute, maybe two minutes to heat it because this works when it's heated. Oh, and also the vinegar. That's what the vinegar is for. Called an acid dye. The dye itself is not acid, but it requires an acid solution to stick to your, to your wool or whatever you're using, your fiber. So I'm just going to drop just a, just a little bit, that much. Just that much of vinegar to make it an acidic solution. We'll see if it works. Now it's going in the microwave for a minute. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back from the microwave. It's hot. I, it didn't look like it was boiling. Let me stir it around. I'm just using a skewer. I'm just one of those long wooden skewers you get in the grocery store. Now I'm just going to drop this fiber in it automatically you can see that it's looking less less gray and more kind of a greeny color. Let's see if it works. It may, it may need more yellow to work. But I'm going to put this back in the microwave again and I'm going to heat that for another minute or two. Maybe two minutes in the microwave. I'll be back again. Okay now. It's out, it's out of the microwave. Can you see the steam? You can see the, yeah, I, I bet you can see it. There's the steam. It was boiling good when I got it out. Now what I think I'm going to do, let's take a peek at it. I think when it's dry we'll see what happens. If you can look, 
this water, this water is much less yellow than it was before. But you can see that. That's because this fiber in here took up the, the yellow dye. So I'm just I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna let it sit until it cools. And then we'll take it out and we'll see what color it is. Let's try it. Let's see. It's not completely cool. It's still hot, but it's much cooler than it was before. I'm gonna take this out. I'm impatient. Here we go. I just taking it out using this skewer. And I'm gonna put it on the lid right here. That'll be easier. Move that back out of the way. And here's the, this was a sour cream container lid. I probably shouldn't be using my fingers because it's gonna dye my fingers. Put on rubber glove. Just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. And here's a rubber glove that I used when I was dyeing something blue. But I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna squeeze this back in here. most of it out, as much out as I can. I'm seeing, it's looking, it looks green to me. I mean, can you see the color? Look at that. I think I got the color that I wanted. Uh, it looks like what I wanted. Okay. Now, I need to rinse it first. Now, I'm going to, let me see. My hair, I've got a drip in my sink. You see the drip? I'm just going to turn on the water. I don't want to drip in my dish, in my dish pan. Turn the water. Let it go into the sink between the dishpan. And just rinse it out. Squeeze it out. And squeeze it out entirely. I want to go in my dishpan. It's going down the sink. Now that is totally. Look at the color. Wow, that's great. Isn't that amazing? Okay, now I'm going to put it on here. It works easier. Let me see if I can spread it out some. I'm going to put it in my microwave. That's a good use for the microwave. I'm just going to spread it out some. It's going to take a couple of minutes in the microwave to dry this. But it, it, it works better. I find it works better to do it if I put something under it, like a paper towel or a rag like this is. So let me do this. Take this over to the microwave. Open it. Put it in there. Just, gonna, I'm just do it for two minutes. Okay, so for two minutes. I will be back. Look here. It took three minutes. In three minutes. Let me show you what happened. She scorched this. So that just kind of goes to show that you have to be really careful with your microwave. That could have started a fire if I'd let that go longer. So anyway, it took it took three minutes. At two minutes, they were not they were not dry. So I did another minute, and maybe I should have done just a few more seconds, or that wouldn't have happened. But it is just a rag. But that just goes to show that cotton in the microwave can burn after three minutes. Remember that. So here we go. Look at that. It's olive green. Just exactly what I was looking for. So there we go. So there we go. I'm happy with this. That's just exactly what I was looking for. It's olive green. Have you ever seen an olive green cat before? Well, probably not. But I will be using this in my in tying flies. Fly tying. There's a piece of bark, not bark, wood chip. A piece of a little piece of wood chip in there. I track those in. So you take, I don't know, put this in a little envelope and put it in my fly tying supplies, and I've done something good today. Bye, y'all. See you next time. Here are the two chickens. Here, here's the two kitties. These my two, who my two kittens. They're not kittens any longer. The gray cat is about twelve, and the black cat is much younger, several years younger. She's about six. The 
cat on the right is Sparkle. And the cat on the left is Mary. I call her May May most of the time. And these are the kitties that I got the hair from. You can see how they're lying here on this bench. And I cleaned the cat hair off, off of this bench a little while ago. And then I dyed it to make dubbing for fly tying. What a good use for cat hair. Anyway, these are my two kitty cats and they're having a rest. They're sleeping together and being buddies, being friends. Say bye to Sparkle and Mary. This is not Mary like M-A-R-Y, it's M-E-R-R-Y. Mary. And she's a good kitty, of course. She's green eyes, those green eyes. And over here on the other windowsill, by my canned goods, that's Boo. I call her Boo because she scares so easily. All you have to say is boo and she'll run away. But sometimes she'll get on my lap. Not very often, I cannot pick her up. I cannot get anywhere close to picking her up. And she always watches me. She's always watching to see what I'm doing, except for right now, of course. She goes, hey boo, hello boo. You think I'm going to try to touch you? Well, the dog sees her. That's, that's what's going on. He's back. He's behind me, looking at her. And probably, as soon as I move, he's probably going to rush and try to get to her. But he can't because I've got all of the stuff in the way. And that's why all of the stuff is in the way. It's to protect the windowsills. Well, except this. I mean, this is a seat that I have here. Look at the dog. Okay, he's talking. You better stop this because it's going to be loud. Goodbye to the kitties.